Hi there, this is Daphne at Wild Birds Unlimited to talk to you today about our amazing bird seed. If you've never tried bird seed from Wild Birds Unlimited, you really must do so. You will be amazed at the difference in the number of birds that you get and the number of different species that you get because our seed is such a high quality, it has no fillers and no waste grain. Here's a good comparison. This chart shows an example of one of our seed blends, very high in sunflower, peanut halves, safflower, all kinds of good seeds that our birds love. This, however, is what you might, we call it brand X, you might find at the hardware store or the grocery store. This is filled with a lot of waste grain that our birds simply do not eat. So they'll fly up to your feeder, take their beak, kick it out of the way to get to the one little morsel of a sunflower in there that they want, and all this other stuff is all over the ground. So it might be cheaper, but that's because it's all filler, and it just gets kicked out and starts growing weeds in your lawn below your feeder. Very messy and not a saver at all on your money. So. What you want to look for is a blend that's high in sunflower, that is by far the most popular seed, whether it's still in its shell, the black oil sunflower, or out of its shell, which is appealing to many, many species of birds. Now, if you have a blend with millet, a lot of people think millet is a bad seed, but it has its place, and it's really very much liked by certain ground-feeding birds. So those include juncos, towhees, sparrows and doves. Now these are birds that want to feed below your feeder on the ground. That's a natural way for them to feed. So when your uh, chickadees or nuthatches or finches, when they kick the millet out of the seed, it falls down below on the ground and that's where the towhees and sparrows eat the millet. Millet is the little round seed, kind of whitish, yellowish, and that actually does have a place in a mix if you get the right proportions. Milo is a seed nobody likes. You don't want Milo. That's this stuff here. Don't buy seed that has Milo. Wild Birds Unlimited has no seed mixes at all with Milo. That does not exist within our seeds. So what you're buying is 100% seed that birds want to eat. And it makes a huge difference in your dollar, the value of your dollar. Now, we also carry a seed blend that's called No Mess Blend. And that is actually a seed that is completely has been hulled. So what you're finding there is just the seed with no shell. Now that is 100% edible. Everything that's in that bag, inch for inch, the birds are gonna be eating that. They don't even have to crack a shell open. So if you're purging your seed over a, a patio or a deck, or just an area in your yard where you want it to be tidy, you want to go with our no mess blend. It's packed full of nutritious seeds that the birds like, but no shells. Besides sunflower, another very popular ingredient is peanut bits and halves. So many birds are really attracted to peanuts out of the shell, and many of our blends have peanuts in them. So this is an ingredient that you often rarely find in you know your grocery store or hardware or bird seed. Peanuts is a wonderful addition to our seed blends that really does attract even more bird species. It's very popular with a wide variety of birds. So peanuts, good thing to have. And the same holds true for our line of suets. They are so good, the difference is truly amazing. If you buy suet at the grocery store, the hardware store, and you open it up and look inside and you might pay you know a very little price for it you can't you're like this is a great price can't pass this up but wow look at that inside in the list of ingredients on the outside and you will see a tremendous difference our suet is really does have when it says it has nuts in it this has pecans walnuts almonds plus mealworms these super suets are the highest in fat and protein of any suet line in the entire United States. And they're right here at Wild Birds Unlimited. Now, let's talk about some of the birds you could attract with our excellent bird seed at your feeders. In different regions around the United States, you can attract different species 
depending on the season of the year and the habitat in your yard and then of course the region. In the northwest you might attract the red-breasted nuthatch and the black-capped chickadee. Some ground feeding birds of note would be the varied thrush and the spotted towhee and lots of woodpeckers of course on the suet and then some seasonal changes such as the black-headed grosbeak and many other species. Now other common birds that might be in other regions certainly include the very gorgeous northern cardinal which is a true delight at anyone's bird feeder and well worth putting out the highest quality seed that you can find. Lots of sunflower, safflower and other seeds will attract the northern cardinal. Also in the Midwest you might find chickadees and nuthatches, lots of doves on the ground and a whole variety of woodpeckers at the suet. In different regions you'll find other common backyard birds as well as some stunning birds that come through migratory through the seasons. And this bird seed contains seeds that will attract just a wonderful wealth of species that you may never get if you don't have the seeds that they like. Okay, now let's talk about which seed should go in which feeder. Part of this depends on the different birds that you want to attract. So for example, you could take one of our seed tubes and put in either like our Supreme or Choice Blend or a Nomes Blend, but the birds that might use this are more likely going to be a smaller songbird, for example, maybe a little chickadee because of the small little purchase. But you could put our blends in a variety of feeders. So this would be great for the small birds, but if you want to attract maybe some mid-sized birds, a hopper style feeder like our new modern rustic is excellent because it provides more space for, now a little bird might use this feeder as well, but you can get a mid-sized bird here because they've got more room to land and feed easily. And this would work quite well with any of our seed blends, whether it be a seed with shells on it, like the Choice or the Supreme, or any of our no mess blends would work really well in this style of feeder. Now, if you enjoy attracting a large bird, what works really well for that is a tray. And these feeders work especially well with some of our blends that have bigger pieces in them, like any of our Plus blends. Our no mess Plus has dried fruit and uh, peanut halves and bark butter bits and it's all filled with all kinds of yummy stuff and a larger bird like maybe a jay uh, could land here quite easily or cardinals but any of the bigger birds can land here and have an easy time of retrieving the food out of a, an open tray like this and of course so would a small bird but if you're trying to target certain birds then an open tray can provide that now if you're hoping to bring in finches, what you need is one of our finch feeders. And if you can see close enough, there's a little tiny hole there, and this is designed specifically for nitro thistle or our finch mix. And those seeds are really tiny, and the finches love them. And this is designed so that the seed stays in and doesn't just spill right out, which it would in other feeders. So our finch feeders are perfect for attracting the goldfinch, or another finch is the pine siskin, or sometimes house finches, depends on your region, but the finch feeder is a really nice addition to any other feeders that you might have in your yard to attract a variety of birds to your yard. So now that you've decided to try some of this fabulous bird seed, here are some tips about keeping it fresh. And this is important. You don't want your seed to get old and foul and damp and moldy. You want to keep it nice and fresh for your birds. So first of all, the two main things is cool and dry. You want your seed to be cool and dry. So first think about where you're going to store it. Outside is ideal. Uh, maybe in the garage or under the eaves on the back side of your house or in a little shed. Some place where it'll be protected but outdoors and you want to keep it in a tight container that is rodent proof and insect proof. So a seed can like this goes a long way towards protecting your seed 
this one's metal, so the rodents can't chew through it, and that keeps it safe. Also a nice tight-fitting lid to keep out moisture and bugs. So this is important with your seed storage. Now, um, if, you have, if you can't store it outside, then try to find a cooler area of your home, like a, if you have a dry basement, that's a good spot, or maybe a back bedroom that you don't keep heated, something that stays cooler, but keep it contained so that you're gonna keep out uh, moisture and bugs. This is important on this high quality seed. You want it to uh, stay well protected. Now, when it's out in your feeder, out in the yard, we carry a product that really helps your seed stay dry. This is called Feeder Fresh. This is a granular product that you add into the feeder with the bird seed, and what it does is it, it's ultra absorbent. So it absorbs moisture so your seed stays dry and keeps flowing and prevents it from caking up and becoming moldy. This is not harmful to birds. It's similar in its molecular structure to sand, so it's safe like other grit type things that birds might find in nature. So this is not harmful to birds, but it really helps your uh, bird seeds stay dry during rainy periods or times of lots of humidity. So this is an excellent addition to your hobby that'll really help keep all this really good bird seed nice and fresh, feeder fresh. So lots of good information here about our bird seed. We hope you'll come in and give it a try. If you have more questions, visit your local Wild Birds Unlimited to get good expert local advice. Thank you.